Hi, what's up YouTube? This is your boy D. Wayne bringing you another video at this time. So basically what I'm doing today is bringing you my um, ongoing profiles for the uh, Primal Origin pack. So basically what I'm going to be profiling today is uh, Shimmer Tranquil God Aurea, or as they call him in TCG, Aurea the High Sylvan Arbiter. So basically let's go into his effect. Um, once per turn you can activate his effect by sending one plant type monster from your hand or that you control to the graveyard. Look at the number of cards from the top of your deck equal to the level of that monster and place them on top of the deck in any order you like. Also, once per turn, you can activate this effect by removing one exit material from this card. Reveal up to three cards from the top of the deck and um, if there is a plant type monster among the reveal cards, send all of those monsters to the graveyard and select cards on a field other than this card up to the number of monsters sent this way and return them to the hand. Return other cards to the bottom of the deck in any order you like. Very, very great card. Stats rank 7, 28, 25, requires 2 level 7 monsters. Not 2 level 7 plants, but 2 level 7 monsters, which makes it generic. Which is pretty good, so he has uses in multiple decks that can spam rank 7s. I.e. the mer um, Mermels and um, Dragon Rulers, or even the Sylvan deck to which it belongs to, so that's what makes it awesome. Alright, let's go into the first effect. Once per turn, by activating this effect, send one plant type monster from your hand or that you control to the graveyard, which is actually pretty good, so you can get, you know, weak monsters off the field to, you know, avoid damage and stuff to, you know, go ahead and use that effect for. Or, if you have high level monsters that you need to ditch from your hands, like um, Hermit Tree and stuff, you can ditch those to the graveyard to use for later uses in order to activate that effect. So basically, you can, as this effect states, look at cards equal to the level of the, of the monster sent, so it could be anywhere from 1 to 8. And you can um, put those in any order you like, place them on the top of the deck, now comes the fun part of the effect is that you can remove a material to reveal up to three cards and um, you know do your excavating thing from there. So basically, whatever it is that you reveal, you can reveal the um, marsh leaf, a hermit tree, um, kumashumo, flower knight, blade fender, any of those cards to obviously get their effects to go off. And then you have his effect that goes off that bounces up to three cards on the field, excluding himself, of course, which is awesome. So you can, um, if you have a, um, what's this card? Miracle Fertilizer in play, you can um, bounce that Miracle Fertilizer back to reuse this effect again. So basically, this card definitely sets up your OTK plays for that deck. I know, because I've definitely tested that out, and I've OTKed a few times with this card, so... I definitely know how this thing goes. Um, basically, whatever, any other cards you get out of the um, excavation, you can send them to the bottom of the deck in any order you like. So, either way, it's just stacking your deck all the way around. So, it stacks and it excavates all at the same time with great stats to go with the card. So, this is definitely a must for Sylvan decks when the next pack comes out in May, so. Basically, that's it. The card is very, very awesome. It's, it's not really... I can't, I can't find any bad points in the deck. I mean, in the card, so. You know. This, I'm not sure what rarity is going to come out in, but I'm sure it's definitely... Probably going to be a high price card upon the uh, initial release. So you're probably better off if you're lucky enough and they don't price this too high. You, you know, buy a box and hopefully pull one of these. And also, we don't know the rarity that's going to come in as well. So basically, it will be all up in the air from here. So hopefully, you get a pre pretty decent price on the card so you can definitely pick up more than one of these because it's so easy to summon. Fallen Angel of Roses is, is definitely a card. Well, basically, Fallen Angel Copy Plant gives you this. Sage Koya, Fallen Angel of Roses, gets you this. So, it's so easy 
to make and such great effects for a card. So basically, there's nothing wrong with the card. So basically, I'll leave it at that. So I'll be bringing you more videos in the meantime. But until then, peace is YouTube.